terms of three minutes. Yeah, listen, always to my commands and protect yourself at all times. Yeah, not to love him. It's gonna be a really great, great match. Both fast and explosive, as you can see already. Got quite comfortable with his guards down. Unusual style, nice left hook, good knee. Fast with his footwork. Oh, great. Across the face of Boras. Different style. Yeah, go through it. I would recommend Ayub. Don't let him come into your brain, to your head. Continue. Go through it. This is the best way. It seems like it looks ugly, maybe, but have to go through it. You've just got to do what it takes. Don't take. Don't let the uh, crazy shit from the Melzo taking over in your own spirit, in your own fight game plan. Nayib <laughs> does pretty good, closing the distance. Don't let the Melzo do this crazy stuff. Yeah, he's starting to feel a bit more comfortable against him now. For us. Putting him on the back foot. No, don't play that game, Ayub. Look, looking sharp. So much energy, I like this. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Shots at the moment. Inside low kick from Boras. And beautiful to see that they are just bantamweight guys, you know, but still so fast and so more explosive. You know? So sorry, folks. I I can't commentate now. I'm too I'm <laughs> too focused on the fight. Something in the air. We felt it from the beginning. <laughs> oh, that was a good left hook to finish that round with. We've got amazing first round. We felt it as soon as the fighters walked into the cage. Beautiful round. Long guys trying to get his, his her fighter. Recovered well. The shirt can be behind the boy. I mean, when we opened this first round, we have a look at some of the highlights here. I just want to see that spinning kick again. Yeah. Are you being? Are you head hunting a lot while he's boxing? Good shots being exchanged. Malzo. Look at all that. This. Really hit on the tempo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love seeing the crowd's reaction. <laughs> That's always nice. If you're fighting in your own town, yeah, the passion. having the home crowd, yeah, the home crowd in, fa in favor. He's asking for more support. Round two, Boris starting to get stronger as the rounds go on. Let's see what the mouse is gonna do. Oh, hooked to the body in the head. Picking up like crazy. Okay. There they go, the Russians. They can get advantage on the full distance with kicks from the Malzo. Ayub is waiting. Yeah, Boris has got a knee. Just needs to rush him again, not wait, give him space. Nice. Donka Elmont there. 
within her fighting the instructions. Full belief in him. Nice knee. Both guys are so dangerous with hands and kicks. Really, it just takes one shot wow. to land. Oh, watch out with the elbow, the man. Yeah, he's a little bit close. But Boros is okay. Not complaining. Nice left hook. Oh, right body knee. shot. Uses that well. Both guys, both guys are training different styles of knees. Yeah. Love to see that. Come back from Scott. With the fear by, by Ayu. Making the energy on the legs again. Yes, success with those low kicks. See the bruising coming up on the leg. Our time push kick coming into a back kick. Keeping him at distance. Left hook though, Scott. As you can see, Ayub is waiting for the mass to do something to counter yeah. very strongly and aggressive. And now he's taking the lead even, so I love this man. I love his style, but also the males are beautiful skills. Here we go, guys. Really opening up now. Mixing it up to the body and the legs. Beautiful to see. Melzo is doing a lot, but it seems like he doesn't connect that well. Russian, that's and the difference when you're not against the Exactly, game, really. that's the problem. Also for the ankle, you know? Yeah. The bar down under is a bit dangerous, in my opinion. But yeah, it's a hype right now. So, we have to deal with it. Yeah. Last few seconds. Oh, oh, I got a little bit dizzy there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Back and forth. Another strong round. I honestly think that they don't need this kind of burning back kicks and flips. I think if they just fight, the structure and then just going forward, you know? Yeah, I agree. We call it the bread and butter yeah, techniques. Exactly. They work. Yeah. But they would. Sorry, what I noticed with these two, if they throw like a jumping knee or a spinning back fist, it's like, you do it, I'm going to do it better, yeah, back one. and yeah, forth. They're going to trade the same <laughs> action to, to show that they are the better one in that particularly technique or whatever. Yeah. But it's good to see they are young. Yes. So that's, that's the experience. Of it. If they are already in control, what can we expect in five, ten years? Yeah, true. Well, okay. We're heading into the third round now, and I don't expect any different than what we've seen in the first and second high pace action here on EC. I think the Melzo so far needs to score a knockdown, at least at an equal score. Somehow, I think the Melzo is kind of experienced with this temperature. No, I think he's used to, to be in Suriname and have these temperatures. So, oh, he's back, back and forth. Oh. Oh. oh, beautiful. Nice defense elements going underneath of the hook. As you can see, he has the ability to attack, to interfere, to counter, but also to let his opponent miss. So, my opinion is I is already well trained as a 19 year old. Yeah, for sure. For sure, I agree. And in back kick. Did Boris feel that one? No. No, he's just going down, down with his upper body because his ankle is on the bar. You know, yeah. that's the shitty thing that part about the cage, in my opinion. So he, Good 
push kick to the face. Oh, nice left hook lands. Well, into the last minute now. Yeah, beautiful to watch the athleticism. athleticism. But, uh, both fighters so impressive, so Good fast. Good angle he's got there, working away at the legs. Use a body shot, I would recommend right. Boras. That's a so-called takedown, right? Yeah, that's why I thought you might start ground the pound then. Ten seconds left. Right into the very last second. Wow. Beautiful fight, really. Ayub Buras goes up. Really nice action. Great match. Sorry, I forgot sometimes to do some commentating, but uh, these guys taking <laughs> all the attention. Really got him through, didn't it? Nice action. Yeah, Boris, as you said, 19 years of age, wow. not 25. Big futures ahead of them. 19 years, I didn't even start at 19. Crazy. How old were you? Uh, 22 I started. Wow. After, after having my twin how many fights do you have? We're going into the highlights here. Really non-stop action. That second knee, that in the centre. Their way down. Great support here, especially for Aya Baburas. Getting into round number one. I mean, at the beginning, Scott really came out, but Boris soon found his number, and it was at that same pace for some time. Exactly. And that was the kick. That took the advantage, I think, on the end of the division. Going into round two, good exchanges. I like how Scott was using the knees was putting the pressure on, working that left hook, faking it sometimes in with another technique. See how he's just keeping him tracked down with his footwork. Great knees. Pulling down on the head, looking to land on the chin. I would love to see them in five years. Where they stand. Yeah. Hopefully they at least continue fighting. Yeah, definitely. Well, round three didn't show any different. Faking his legs, I do like fakes. Faking yeah, your way in. Yeah, as you can in. see, uh, Domalzo didn't like it because he went backwards. He yep. wanted to come forwards, but bringing up the knees like you do want to do something, and the opponent will hesitate. Mm, you're unsure what's going to be thrown at you. Yeah, correct. I think the judges had a couple problems to make a decision. Domelzo's head and you put us. And after three rounds of three minutes, we've counted the points and we have a winner. And the winner is the man in the red corner. Ayub I agree. I yeah, agree. Totally, I agree as well. He got the edge. Tough fight, nevertheless. Hats off to Domelzo Scott. It's the first time we've seen him. Unfortunately for him, he does put a blemish on his record. Now has one loss, but that's Nothing to be ashamed that's of. Exactly, that's not the case. You know, the guy is uh, just one loss on his record right now. He's so fast, so he's so, so hungry. Don't worry, you're gonna learn from it, from it like we said in previous fights. A loss brings you all only to a better place. And especially with that performance. Man, I like, I like both of them. I'm a fan. I want an autograph. <laughs>